The jay is a very striking looking member of the crow family and it can be a bit shy as a garden visitor. I've got a few photos of the jay in the garden, taken a few years ago, but hadn't got any video. And seeing as the acorn crop locally was practically non-existent this year, and I'd collected some from a couple of trees that were loaded at Barrington Green whilst we were walking the dog, I thought that might be a good chance of tenting the jays back into the garden this winter. The very next day after putting the acorns out, I saw my first jay in the garden and three days later, two of them came in together. They obviously must have been a pair. It's said that when the jay is collecting acorns like this, it can carry as many as nine in its gullet. I suppose that must depend on the size of the acorns though. When you're putting out acorns for the jay, it doesn't take long before the squirrel will also find them. And just like the jay, he will cash some away for when food gets short later in the winter. And if I didn't keep pulling up the seedlings, my back garden would be in an oak forest by now. I couldn't understand why the jay was rejecting some of the acorns, until I examined them when he'd gone away and found a small hole in them made by the acorn weevil, where it laid its eggs that turned into a grub-like pupa that eats away at the inside of the acorn. 